Are you having a good day? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Pretty decent afternoon? Yeah, it could be could be better, I suppose, but, you know, not, not a bad afternoon. What if Capcom helped make it better with a Disney afternoon? I prefer an A24 afternoon. All right, well, this is just past Disney. This is uh, back in the days of old. I prefer Disney evenings, really. <laughs> I prefer Capcom middays. <laughs> Welcome to the Disney Afternoon Collection. So, wow, like, how, how much did you pay for this one? Five dollars. Oh, wow, how many games are there? Uh, well, let's take a look. I believe there is, uh, we got DuckTales. Uh -huh. We got Chip and Dale. Uh -huh. We got Tailspin. Ooh. We got Darkwing Duck. Oh, wow. We got DuckTales, too. Sorry, that's the rare one. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. And then Chip, uh, Chip and Dale, too. So we, we got everything. That's like six games, isn't it? Six games. They, six? they show four on the thumbnail. There are actually six of them because these two snuck in. If you're a collector of video games, grab this collection because I can't remember which one, but this is the only place that's ever been posted. So how much did DuckTales on NES normally go for? DuckTales 2? Or, yeah, DuckTales 2 on NES. So how, much, uh, how much does that normally go for, would you say? Uh, expensive. Se yeah. Sequels to these old Disney afternoon games go for a very pretty penny. And here, you get it for like, not even 85 cents, I bet. Yeah, I believe the collection normally goes for 30, but I happened to catch a fire sale where it was $5. Well, let's jump on into some of these. Yeah, which one do you want to play? That's, let's just go down the list. Okay. Let's we'll start with DuckTales. DuckTales! Woo! -hoo. This will probably show how inept I am at old NES games because uh, I tried this out the other day. I was like, "Oh, sweet DuckTales!" and I couldn't figure out how to play it. Oh, they got a rewind and a pause. I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know when uh, Disney ported uh, the different Aladdin games and Lion King games onto Switch Cart? Yeah. It's basically the same, except done back in 2017. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go easy because I'm a sissy baby gamer. Uh, where are we going? Let's go to the Amazon. The Amazon? You got it! Uh, this is my favorite kind of port where they do, uh, nothing. Alright, I'm oh, gonna wow. have to figure out how, uh, well, how to Well, you gotta, like, buttons. you know, you gotta cane him, right? I, I do. Just need to figure out the, the cane button. There's was, was only two I buttons. I know, there's only two buttons. Don't remind me. Try down B. When you're in the air, I mean. There, there it is. Sorry, it's down X. Down, Got it. Down X. There's no X on the NES pad. There is not. So, you know what we can do? Uh, Pause the game. Config buttons. You can change your buttons. What the heck? You can change it to whatever you want. So we got pause and rewind. We got the move buttons. Start select. Uh, I'm gonna go... Let's see... Got... Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh my god. I gotta love how it's an NES... Uh, I mean, any essential game yeah. controller. Yeah! So, just like you're playing an emulator, you get to remap everything. Now... Which would you like to be the actual B button based on this controller? I'm an XA kind of guy. XA? Okay. And then we got to pause, and we got to rewind. Okay, so nothing changed. Awesome, let's go! Yeah, crank. Cool. <laughs> We're wasting time! There's so much- there's only so much time in the afternoon! See, why- why can't I cane? Am I- am I doing something wrong, or...? You have to down and- down an X? There you go. I'm doing it. You were doing it. I yeah, was doing it. Well, deep. here you go. I'll just trade off on every death. Yeah, let's try it out. All right. All right, so again, only two buttons. And I don't know why I can't figure out caning. There you go. Well, I got that part, but how do you just use your cane? This is how you use it. But there's a way to actually... Oh, wait, I'm thinking of going directly up to something and hitting something. Like, if you go up to the one of those boulders, I think you can, like, golf swing it? Well, this is exactly how I, how I remember uh, DuckTales when I saw it as a kid. Put through a uh, Xbox filter? Just, you know, Scrooge McDuck jumping around on his cane, just pogo sticking all, all over the place. All over the place. Oh, you're invincible, I think. Not anymore, but yeah. you were. Whoa! <gasps> Secret! Hey, look at that. So I think one of my favorite pieces of trivia about this game Obviously, I know trivia about a game I barely played. Uh, there's a secret ending if you have no money. <laughs> there is actually a special scene for getting through here without having aye, any aye, money. Aye, aye. Amazing. You're actually doing a hell of a lot better than I was. I'm doing okay. See if I can clear the stage, though. 
That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Oh, I would that. like to see the end of a stage. Okay, can't pogo bees. Good to know. Oh, you, okay, you secretly can pogo bees. It's just that to, one just had a bone to pick with you. I have to pogo him the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of bees around here. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, uh, all of these games are made by Capcom. That's why they still had the licensing and are able to port everything. Still, it, it feels very much like Mega Man 1. Yeah. So a lot of these games are going to remind you of Mega Man games because that's kind of what they base them on. Uh, especially when we get to Darkwing Duck, that one is essentially Mega Man yeah. with a Darkwing Duck skin on it. Still fun, though. Yeah, shit. Ooh, pulling some trickery. Uh, taking a couple of, uh... Couple of back alleys on the, uh... Ah, punch <laughs> on, bad! On the, on the level design there. Come on, you quack! Oi! Oi! There we go. Easy. You know, it always kills me that games like this can be beaten in an afternoon. Oh, no! <laughs> All the way back. All right. Oh, you know, why don't we try another stage then? Okay. Uh, I mean, we got we got plenty of games in this. Uh, reset. We got plenty of games in in this uh, collection to go through, and we do. Uh, go to the moon. Everyone wants to go to the moon. This is the stage I tested out just to make sure I knew how to play this, and I still fuck that up. I can't believe it. Wee. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is very, very fun. I, I never played this as a kid. I played Mario and like a normal kid. Yep. Mega Man as well. I think I have up to Mega Man 5 in actual NES cartridges? Really? I think so, yeah. Or maybe it's up to 3. I, I don't remember what NES games I actually own. I don't see the original. Oh, shoot. I might not have the original. I might have two. I only have Mega Man 3. Yeah, here. Yeah, there we go. Like the only uh, physical Mega Man games I have is Mega Man Three for NES and Mega Man Eleven and Mega Man ZX, I suppose. And he can blast the wall. Okay, I can do that. You know, speaking of Mega Man, did you ever play? Uh, probably not. But the you, the you Legacy. Done that, you done that green thing? Do what now? You you done that green shoot? Nope. You don't. Nope. Oh, here's the golf swing I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, but uh, the Legacy Collection that had the original 1 through 6 on it. I did, yes. I remember getting so freaking mad at that game because I sucked at it. It had 1 through 8. I stopped at 6. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm talking like original Xbox. So I think that uh, one only uh, yeah, had... Yeah, it was... No, I know. It was for GameCube, oh, it, too. Oh, shoot. Then it did have 1 through 8. I, I remember because I realized that uh, Mega Man 7 is kind of underrated. And Mega Man 8, I absolutely cannot stand. I couldn't stand 6 because it was way too damn hard. Mega Man 3 was also really freaking hard. You see, 6 is my favorite of the NES games. What? Yeah. Yeah. Did you pile around with Nightman, Plant Man, and all of those other ones? No, I, I really, really got attached to the Rush Jet. It made everything easier. Oh, Rush Jet makes everything easier. Yeah, so that's why I liked it better, because, uh -huh. you know, it's like, ha! Difficult jumps? Don't think so. They <laughs> got them disappearing platforms? I don't think so. Where's this taking me? Oh. What the heck? Alright, so this is just an easier way to get that. Duly noted. Oops. Sorry, I'm just kind of blasting my way through this. Blasting off, I'd say. <laughs> yeah! Off we go to the moon, Scrooge! We are at the moon. To the moony moon! Oh, not the moony moon. Oh, so, I did die. Alright. Well, I think we've gotten all we can get out of this. Let's go to Chip and Dale. Let's go to Chip and Dale. Uh, go ahead and pause it. Alright. Uh, uh, press both of the shoulder buttons. Uh, oh, there, there, there we go. Go ahead and, uh, and uh, just, 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 just quit. Quit. There we go. All right, next up is Chip and Dale Rescue Range Air. This is a fun one. I have played this. No two players get in here. Damn it! Oh, we might be able That's to. That's too late. <laughs> okay, gang, we have a new assignment. Our cute little neighbor, Mandy. Mandy? 
is the assignment. It, oh. Oh, has lost her kitten. Oh, no! Oh, oh, I say this is a this is a job for somebody else. The rescue rangers. Okay. I'm the one ahead, Chip, and scatter some things of mine that might help while we search the city. Thanks, Gadget. If you never watched the show, you wouldn't know who Gadget is. Well... Good idea, Gadget. That's the spirit, Dale. You and I can start on the trail. <laughs> Monty, why don't you and Zip... See, which one's Chip? I can't tell. He must be the tall one. Nah, if you're part of the Disney afternoon, Chip's the Indiana Jones-looking guy. I was a Cartoon Network Super Chunk Kid! You know, I had a an old videotape of three episodes of the show Chip and Dale. So this is a fun platformer. I, I don't know what it was about uh, Capcom in, in the NES era, but they loved their platformers and they got really good at it. Well, because they were easy to make, and that was the style at the time. And I of know. course Cactus is hurt. Cacti it's hurt. so good. But yeah, just pick up and throw. That's all you gotta do in this game. Ah! <laughs> and not get hit by robot dogs. Come on, you gotta go fight Fat Cat. Oh, come on. You die. Wow. You fool. All right, let's go. You know, uh, I know we uh, just uh, did DuckTales, but you ever played the DuckTales Remastered? I have it for Wii U before it got insanely expensive. I got it for PS3 because it was a free download on PlayStation Plus. Back in the day. Very nice. They let you keep it after all this time? Oh yeah, as long as, you're, as, long as you're a member, you still got, you still got the game. All right, we're getting our ass kicked in Chippendale. We absolutely are. Let's, let's try to get actually right. finished with a stage. Let's let's focus up here. Okay, so there's a dog out here. Throw that. Because the stages aren't that long either. It's good that we just we, we should probably keep one of these so that we yeah don't jump on cactus. Right. We don't need cactus to, hurt. There's no time limit. We don't need to go so fast. That you know of. Huh? I'm kidding. There's no time limit. They they, they would show it. They wouldn't. Not not about not not Capcom. Not not enough processing power. Yeah. <laughs> We can't- oh, here we go. Uh, transition right. up to the yeah, next part up, of the stage. Up, yeah, up. I think you can also do, like, a drop-down. Actually, no, because the screen is scrolling with you. Never mind. Yeah! Boom! Yeah! Oh. Get him! Watch out for the electricity. I'm invincible. Yeah! Everybody get out of Chip's way. Out of here. Ooh, we're going up. That's physics. Hey, it works, okay? <laughs> Do not question cartoon logic. All right, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting the hang of it. Ay, ay, ay! Ay, ooh. Ay, 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 ay. Ooh, 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 ooh! I believe there are uh, mid-stage checkpoints. Ah. Never mind, we <laughs> came over so Okay, we well, I mean, uh, all right, cool. So that's Chip and Dale, I that's how I, that game I guess, I guess this poor cat ain't getting out of that fucking tree. <laughs> no! I have never seen anything regarding Tailspin, played a game, nothing. The only thing I know about Tailspin is that, oh, Tailspin, I wonder what's on Cartoon Network, I guess. Baloo deserved better. Let alone knowing there was an NES game. Wake up, Baloo, we've got lots of work today. I've lined up eight assignments already, so get out of your hammock and shake a... What? Lag! And by the way, Baloo, Don Carnage and the pirates are intercepting cargo planes, I'm so sorry. do me a favor, be careful. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't learn until later. Tailspin kind of hit hard. Oh my god! Here's your first assignment. Fly, find a destination. Watch out for Don Carnage. He Don may be Carnage? waiting for you if you happen to find more cargo. Pick it up and deliver it! So wait, she just signs us up for a... Oh my god, is this a shmup? Like a very slow shmup. Actually, no. Oh, okay. You're gonna hit it's, the wall. It's oh, Don no! Carnage! Oh. Don Carnage! Oh, he's gone. All right. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Huh. If, if you press the A button, you turn upside down. Okay, this kind of this kind of rules. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's it's almost like it's a shmup for a younger audience. Oh my god, that's awesome! For when for when uh you know uh Galaga is way too hard. Yeah. You played Silver Surfer and you Oops. broke. All right, we're done. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to beat at least one stage from one of these Disney Afternoon games. They can't be all impossible, Capcom. Come on. It's it's there are NES games Shit. in the late '80s to early '90s. What do you think? Okay, very hard. This came out when I was born, so yeah, it's hard as balls. 
Oh, we did get a mid-stage checkpoint. Nice. See, this is this is my speed right here. I can do shmups. You got a friendly face like Baloo. You got to have a certain difficulty attached to it, you know? <laughs> it's a living! <laughs> oh, I got fruit! There we go. And you can't have Baloo on a Dark Souls game, and I don't think it ah! works so well. Oh, that counts as death. You got, you got smashed by the... The... the 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 yeah. I don't think we ever mentioned. Is this the same blue from Jungle Book? Son of a bitch! I think so. Uh, I call him blue and everything. Yeah, give it a try. All right, let's see how far I get. Give it one more go. Game over. How much, were, how much were NES games back in the day? Uh, they could be anywhere from forty to sixty bucks. Wait a minute. Does this mean you can go backwards? No. This the screen didn't scroll. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I, I tried to go back and it didn't scroll from the beginning. Well, I mean, th that's what I mean, the... the huh? Like, would you be able to turn completely back around to fight Dawn Carnage? Not, probably not the waterfall, okay. There's, there's, it, it auto-scrolls in certain parts, so... Okay. Probably not. This is, n this is not a, a secret Metroidvania. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying that, I'm saying the fact that if you miss an item, you can actually go back and get it. That's true, but when the game auto scrolls like this is only so much you can do. I think oh, that yeah. was your problem last time. Well, see, see here I can do whatever I want. Because we're at the end of the auto scroll, but as soon as you move right, we're gonna keep going. Don't think planes can really do this. No. They can't just, like, float in midair. No. Or this. <laughs> well, Baloo can do that. Wow! <laughs> For the barrel roll. <laughs> I guess this would have helped me not to get crushed by the edge of the screen if I knew I could turn back real quick. Hey, whoa. Yeah, these guys are fast. Hey. Hey, I oh. Careful, buddy. Careful, buddy. Well, I can have so many, uh, bullets on the screen, too. Ah, oh, I missed the health. Oh. Alright, we're good, we're good. I see, that's how they want you to get those, uh, boxes there. The cargo, as it were. Oh, so when you press A, it auto scrolls the other way. Okay, that was Except it. Except it doesn't work all the time. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I got you, number boys. Oh, KG and Afune did the art for DuckTales 2. Sorry, I'm just looking into the, the rare games. Yeah, DuckTales 2 came out in... Whoa, 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 93? whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? Uh-oh. Are we gonna have some trouble, I found, I found a secret! <laughs> the secret! Yeah, yeah what was that? Yeah. Damn, we got a one-up out of that. Hell yeah! Okay, so it looks like the DuckTales 2 cartridge is the expensive one. Oh yeah. How, how, how much is that beast? Uh, DuckTales 2, uh, $406, I'm seeing. Oh, I got, I got that much. I can, I can pick that up. But what I did... <laughs> What I didn't know is it was also ported to the Game Boy. Oh, sure. Now, uh, Chip and Dale 2... Did you perish? I have perished. Chip and Dale 2... Uh... No, not the first one. 2 NES. Yeah, they did make official cartridges for it. Okay, nine hundred dollars. All right, we're out of here. They're or, just you could, or you could just pay five bucks exactly. for all of those rare games on a console that you don't even need to plug in with the AV cable. Have a Disney afternoon. Have a Disney afternoon. I think this collection is out on Xbox, uh, PlayStation, and Switch. So yeah, you can get it for pretty much anything if you want to relive. The NES. usual suspects. Uh oh, oh my oh, this god! This is looking pretty boss time. We have not boss time, or at least end of stage time. Oh, get him! Ah! 
He just sneezed bullets out. Oh, come on. All right, no. Holy crap. That was awesome. Last is Darkwing Duck, because DuckTales 2 and uh, Chip and Dale 2 are right, very similar, but uh, I like me some Mega Man. It's a good thing it's not Darkwing Duck on the TurboGrafx-16. Let me hear that music. I am the terror, and I am the winged skirt that pecks at your nightmares! I'm Darkwing Duck. So he had a motorcycle, he had like cool catchphrases, he fought crime, it got dark sometimes even, yeah. and he was just some middle-aged schluck in the, in the fucking suburbs. What? I'm so, that looks really good for NES. His secret identity is so good, his daughter figured him out right away. <laughs> Hell yeah. Welcome to Darkwing Duck Press Start. Oh. Once again, we need your help, Darkwing. A mysterious crime wave has swept over the city. We believe these crimes are the work of that secret criminal organization, Foul. Foul. You must put an end to their fiendish plans. Launchpad will brief you with the details of your missions. Remember to collect all the stolen diamonds and gold bars. Basically saying, you get a stage select. Good luck, Darkwing. Alright, where are we heading? This bridge needs help! We got Quacker Jack. It's doing the construction of a bridge. We're yes, a button! Oop, I accidentally pressed A. I guess we're going to go fight Quacker Jack. Yeah! <laughs> I'm Darkwing Duck. We are! Yes! You can... Oh, this is great. I'm just gonna focus on this because I know how hard Mega Man games can be. Or even Mega Man likes. There we go. I mean, he had a he had a gun. He's like one of the only Disney char Disney Afternoon characters that had a gun. It know? was a gas gun. At least, that, still, that's what he says in the official report. I mean, still. Do I have to hold up? Yes, I do. Tis a firearm. It better not mix with fire, otherwise that entire thing's blowing up. <laughs> well, anyway, here you go. I have Darkwing Duck. <laughs> I accidentally fell down a pit. All right, here we go. So, the uh, new DuckTales series that came out a few years ago. Oh, yeah? Uh, they had a episode where uh, they go to uh, St. Canard City, where Darkwing Duck is, and uh, he had a cameo. And a whole episode looking over, uh, like Taurus Bulba had some had some evil deeds going on in in the city. It was a good episode. This is just straight up Mega Man. Yes, it is. I think you also get like a oh, there's a one up up there. If you uh, were able to. Oh, dude! You hold up, he does the cape thing. Yes. It's like I am the terror of the night, Duckwing Duck. And then if you scare him, he goes into that, like, crouching pose. <laughs> he... Oh! Oh, cause I... Ah, okay. There you right. go, there you uh, go. Okay, okay. I like how he also holds down the hat, just to make sure it doesn't blow off. Like, if he's getting hit by a huge windstorm, he's just like, I got it. Which happens frequently. Yes. I mean, yeah, he's a... clacky controller, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just gaming here, you know, just, just, I'm just, I'm just playing the game. You don't have to apologize for being a gamer, dude. All right. I uh, hold. I probably up. need to, yeah. Hold up to grab onto those. There you go. Oh, just hold up. Okay. Yeah. Thought I need to like actually grab. Yeah. Onto that is okay. It's easy. Oh yeah, that's. It's pie. Yeah, yeah. That's just pie, man. Yeah. Uh... All right, here we go. It has yeah. all the awesome Capcom staples, bitchin' music, really good gameplay. This was a really good one back in the NES era. I'm glad it actually came to a collection. That bat is following you forever, my friend. Oh, and these just drop off. Woo! Yeah. Easy! Yeah. No problem! And also, no problem. Ain't no thing! Oh my god, another screen, yes! I think that's your, uh... Your checkpoint. Oh, my tools. He looks familiar. Yeah. Wait a minute, this yeah. is just Baby's first Mega Man! Ow! Acts exactly the same. But it's one that Goslin can play. <laughs> who's yeah, the... Fuck you, guy. Who's the, uh... Oh, uh, poop! Ah! There you go. Ah! <laughs> it's my turn! 
It was a terror that quacks in the night. It was Jim Cummings. That man basically ran the, the Disney afternoon. Yes, indeed. And quite a few Disney properties. Uh, -ya. I mean, the man's Pooh Bear. Yes. Most people are just lucky to get just one iconic role, but no, yeah. he's he's like several. Many. He's also Pete from Goof Troop, and he's just played all these different characters we know and love. He's he's Snookums from Snookums and Meat Water, whatever. I'm sorry, oh, what you're, did you just say to me? You're telling me they never made a... a, a... Alright, it was basically the, the Disney Afternoon's version of Ren and Stimpy. Is, is, that, is that legal? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's about a uh, uh, cat and a dog. Yeah, the cat is all smart and conniving, and the dog's all stupid uh -huh. and all dumb and all that. Yeah, interesting. It's they get into a bit more in zany stuff and more uh, like gross out humor. Oh, good. I, we I love use, that. I use in the biggest air quotes. It's like, oh, I, th I think they dealt with like vomit once. <laughs> yep, that's certainly uh, Ren and Stimpy esque. Yeah, it didn't go any further, but, uh, do you tell me they didn't make a game about those two? Really? That's, that's surprising. I think my favorite, uh, there, there was recently, uh, a big convention where, uh, oh, Quackerjack! He's here! Uh, there was a convention where a bunch of, uh, old-school actors got together, and, uh, probably the best thing to come out of that was, uh, Dan Green, who played Yugi Moto in <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh!, got together with, uh, Jim Cummings, and, uh, basically, Pooh Bear said, it's time to duel. It's and time to do <laughs> that's, That was fantastic, and I died at the boss. God bless it. Hey, we get to start right here at the boss uh, if you want to give it a shot. How about that? I think I will. I just couldn't drop down from the girders, and there's spikes on the ceiling, so... Yeah, I really wish you could hold down... It. Well, I guess you can, and you're dead. No, you're not! Time rewind! There's gotta be, like, some way to just... Oh. There you go. Yeah, as soon as you hit the floor, he's going to go to a different plane of existence. I see. So you could probably like trick him out. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You got a couple couple hits in. Get your life. Oh, I thought. Uh, I I don't ah, I don't remember the the henchman's name. This is actually kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, going with the. Uh, Going with uh, the Capcom staple of all their games being really hard as well. I think we I think we get that from that too. Uh... You know, pique my curiosity just a little bit. I haven't seen anything regarding this game. Well, let's see. Besides the fact that it exists, let's give, a, let's give a little bit of a dip for these two then. I know Chip and Dale Two is similar to the first game. Uncle Scrooge, we found this piece of paper in the basement. It looks like part. Of a treasure map. Look, Ooh. it says the secret treasure of McDuck. Great, great Uncle oh, Fergus, Fergus. <laughs> must have torn the map into pieces and hidden them all over the world. Or the house, whatever. The well, house spit on my spats. spats. I'll bet you're right. We're off on a treasure hunt. Oh, easy plot to follow. Let's go, nephews. Off to adventure. DuckTales 2. Woo. Yeah, this is 1990, what, 1993? 93. Oh, good lord. Yep. I was... Oh, good gravy. I was still a young boy. Let's let's go to Dragon Quest here. <laughs> A.K.A. Scotland! <laughs> yeah, real high-pitched voice there, Launchpad. <laughs> why is he Uncle... Why is he Uncle Scrooge? Does, does Launchpad call him Uncle Scrooge? I think so, yeah. Yeah, why does it look worse? Uh, looks okay. I, I think it's just the dark background that's not doing it for D me. It looks like a Game Boy game. Huh. Maybe that's why it transitioned pretty well o over to the Game Boy. That must be why. I don't think it was originally made for it, but... It looks like it was a pretty easy way to uh, put it onto another console. Oh, it disappeared. Hope. That's a shame. Oh, you can get it from there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ha! 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 Secret! Look at all that money you got, mate. I wonder if they introduced any more DuckTales characters in this game. I saw Uncle Fergus, which is a hilarious name. 
Any Ferguses out there watching right now? <laughs> Where are my Ferguses uh, at? Oh. Uh, yeah, let me give it a shot. I was just studying this game because it looks... I mean... I think it still looks okay. It, 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 it just looks like a Game Boy game. A Game Boy Color game. I See, think. I don't know what Game Boy games you were playing because this looks a hell of a lot better than a Game Boy. Maybe just that it's it, it's just a look that late late a uh, very <laughs> late stage NES games had. It's also having a little bit of a hard time running, as you probably noticed. Oh! Like Kirby's Adventure came out in '93. I think that like Shit. A, anything after that, it's it's time to pack it in, Chief. But when did that come out? '93. Oh, it came out in '93. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe like, that's why it's so expensive on the market is because it, nobody could get a hold of it since it was right at the end. You ever played a Lion King on NES? NES? No, I had it on the Sega Genesis. Yeah, like you and everybody else, because it was only really available in the PAL regions, but I think it was like the last official NES game. Oh my god, I just pulled a lever, dude. There we go. But, but it's like so rare and like so not talked about, people just assume it's a hack. Is that the one where uh, Simba hangs himself? No, it's not the one where Simba hangs himself! <laughs> I think that's Lion King 5 or something. <laughs> well, it was. It's, it's official, man. It's Li Lion King, Lion King, Simba's hanging simulator. God damn it. And Timon buries himself right. and Pumbaa boils himself in a pot. <sighs> right, let's close out this week with Chip and Dale. Oh, wait! That's Uncle Fergus! There he is! Right there! Hey! There he is! He does exist! Who's the guy zapping him down there? I... I, I don't know. What the heck kind of game is this? I need to watch DuckTales. Wow! See, I know some of these characters. There's Fat Cat back there. I have no idea who that lizard is. Chip and Dale, too! Let's go! I like how he's trying to kill Chip and Dale with the wrecking ball on top of a different building. Exactly. I mean, and there's Fat Cat on top of a different building saying, <laughs> Yes! Get them! Yes! Get them! Who the hell are they? Guys? Chip? Guys? Dale? Ah, wait! Hey! Get him! <laughs> oh now this looks like a Game Boy game. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 da, here we go! I told you, Dale. No, no grandstanding. <laughs> Was that new Chip and Dale film any good? I loved it. You loved it? Okay. It's it's like it is tongue in cheek. The movie. I'm down for tongue in cheek. They brought they brought back Ugly Sonic. I know that's what everybody talks about. I never hear anything other than that, so I don't know what to make of it. If you just sit down, shut up, watch the movie, and laugh, you'll have a good time. But but if, but, but if you stroke your chin and ruminate about things and oh how introspective everything you are, about, it's like then, then you're a fucking freak. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I like it. Shut up. Oh my God, there's a time bomb. Well, sprites look a bit better. Or worse. Hmm. A time bomb is where you have a bomb that goes off after a se Oh, wait. Time bomb in a restaurant downtown. This, is a this looks like a Neo Geo Pocket game. Is it next to Sherry's Diner? I don't want to go there. Alright, uh, a step up from the first uh, Chippendales game. The, the fact that the cutscenes I mean, are actually... I mean, the first one was, Oh, our neighbor has a kitten stuck in a tree. And now there's this time one, There's a bomb in a restaurant! <laughs> At least that's a pretty good hook. He's like, oh yeah, we saved the kitten. Now let's get to the real stuff. Of course, uh, what's the size comparison here? Because that's a real live person, and they... And Chip and Dale seem to come up to about, like, knee height here when... I think that's a TV. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, oh, okay. You know, the gigantic CRTs. I, th I thought that they were just at CVS one morning, and, I, uh... I think this is in their treehouse, I think they had? All right! Oh, yeah, th here's some side scaling for you. Uh, oh, there That's we a go. gigantic burger next to a gigantic uh, container of salt and pepper. All right. Again with the bees. Get out of here. I guess they were the easiest to Who let these animate? dick bags in my house? <laughs> Yeah, that's a huge cup of coffee to have with that burger. Oh, we're in a rest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in a we're in a restaurant. This is where the time bomb is. We just went there. 
I thought it, there was an act of us going down to the... No, oh, no, 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 we're I'm, just gonna go straight there. I'm used to a lot of these licensed games that have to stretch out the material as much as they can, nah, so... No, 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 you can like, beat this in, like, All right, point. we're gonna go out to the garage! Now we're gonna go get in the car! Now it's level three is a driving section! Now level four is the park section! Then level five is the... <laughs> sewer section! Well, you, also, you also have to think this is an NES game that can be beaten in 45 minutes. The replay value is high if you want to, like, try and beat it without dying or, you know, j try to beat it at all because this is a hard game. You gotta say that, that scrolling is very smooth, though. I know! Look at it! Whoa! Hey, now! So what I like is uh, comparing uh, NES games from, like, 1986, like those old Taito games, mm -hmm. and then, like, uh, late-game NES games like this and Kirby's Adventure, and just seeing how far we've come. It's really cool. I mean, they've got, like, more like five times the RAM now, but... Oh, yeah, definitely. Alright. I want to actually make it to the end of a stage, and actually maybe beat a boss. There's got to be some form of completion here. I can take this one at this one recording session and split it up to like six weeks. <laughs> I was about to say, wow, an eighty-seven cent game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I well. I perished in the water. You drowned. I know. I'm just gonna keep playing. It's because I like it. <laughs> this is actually a fun game. Do, do you wanna do you wanna two-player this <laughs> at some point? Like not even on film. Just like, hey, dude, you wanna play Chip and Dale too? <laughs> Oh, hell, we'll do Chip and Dale 1 as well. well. If I see this on sale, I guess I, you know, could pick it up. I wonder if there's online! I don't think so. I doubt it, too. You think there's crossplay? Hmm. Thanks, Monterey Jack. Oh! oh! I was that far away from free health. Damn it. All right, spell it. Who set the time bomb? I think it's that fellow over there. I did. Thanks, Water Rabbit. All right. Fat Cat asked me to create a diversion, and it worked! Fat Cat's in prison. <gasps> we beat then him last time. Me. Yeah, exactly. Not anymore. He broke out last night. Oh, convenient. Broke out into song. I'm, I'm free from prison. Steal the urn of the Pharaoh. Where is this coming from? I love it. So are we gonna like fight or is the beep beep beep? Oh, no, no. Find it yourself. Ha ha ha. Them's fighting words, water rabbit. No, them's finding words. Let's go hunting. Oh. Oh, hello. The, oh, we actually reached a boss, man. Hey, how about. Ow! Oh, we nothing. That was all you. Whip. There you go. Oh, oh, he hurts. Oh, dear. I'm going again. Go I know I can beat this guy. Yeah, you can. I know I can beat this guy. Now get out of here with that water shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that counts as a hit. I think it did because he was, like, flashing. Man, Oops. There, there, there was... He yeah, got hit again! There, there's physics attached to it, so, I mean... Yeah, exactly. I'll let the idiot take care of himself. I would love it. Maybe that could be, like, a game challenge we try to do for ourselves. Pacifist challenge. Oh, no. Alright, come here. Okay. Ow! Come here. Come here. Woo. Woo. You guess time you change up your tactic there, Water Rabbit. What? I won! Hey! Oh my god, I beat a boss! Oh crap, this game's really fun. I love it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Single episode LP coming up, 45 minutes, beat the whole game, yeah! Bonus game! I love bonus games! Oh, right, right, right! I want... I want that! Yeah! Gadget, have you found the bomb? It's underneath your feet, Chip! And, oh! <laughs> Look, it has blue and red wires coming out of it. <laughs> Which one do I cut? We have to cut one of the wires to diffuse it. You don't want to know. <laughs> we're doomed! <laughs> Just straight up, we're doomed. 
we'll uh -oh. fucking die and our skin will be incinerated from the blast! You know, I'm thinking uh, with a bomb this small in a human sized diner. <laughs> yeah, it. it oh. 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 Pick a wire! Uh, Pick a wire! Uh, Pick a wire! Uh, uh, Pick a wire! Uh, 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 blue. Yes. Here we go! <laughs> I have a funny feeling that both options were correct. It must have been a fake bomb. Oh. Because the real one is... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not the urn of the pharaoh. About to leave port. He's going out to sea with this thing? I see we're getting a little bit of the uh, Mega Man X5 territory here, you know, with the... I, I will say, not many NES games have cutscenes, so this is, like, huge for 93. And a sewer yeah, level, that's where right. I call the yeah, line. Okay, yeah, alright, nice. I'm gonna play that later. Well, I'm glad you found something you liked. I, I, think, I, I think I did too, that was, uh, that was, that was fun. <gasps> ew, ew. How does that look? Woo! Just put scan lines in. Yeah! That looks pretty good. Go TV. I like the, I like the CRT look. That's me. Hey. It's what I'm used to with NES games. <gasps> it even has... Oh, it even has flicker! Yeah! Oh, that's so cool! Yeah! Yeah. All right, that alone sold me. Oh, oh it's so even got the blur. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, that sold me. That sold me. That sold me. I'm gonna run out and get oh, Disney that's so Afternoon cool. Collection. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, the next week's game is not gonna compare to this, unfortunately. But uh, this, this is a good trip down memory lane for nostalgia I never had. What a great deal. Disney Afternoon, co after afternoon Collection. A yeah. Afternoon Collection. Afternoon. The Afternoon of Disney. Exactly. Six games that are and short, but fun and difficult, so you'll have plenty of replay value. Yeah, this is fun. I like this collection. Yeah. Thanks, Disney. I guess. Thanks, Capcom. Oh, wait a minute. Really? And there's a game. All right, we'll be here all day. Oh! See you next week! Oh! See you next oh! week! Oh! Ah!